Ah! Resale Brothers. Our deals are scary, just like we scared you. Watch out. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I'm Tony. This is Christian. Back again with another video, Resale Brothers. Um, this is what we're buying and what we're selling in 2024. Also, about halfway through the video, we're going to show you a little bit about how we uh, take pictures and get everything set up and how we use our little uh, uh, chart to tell the VAs how to list our stuff. And then we'll go back to the thrift haul after right. that. The life progression of a little item like this, how he gets to the pile and then how he is free to somebody else. Yep. Oh, it gets, gets gone. All right. First thing we got here is a, a Polo Ralph Lauren size XLT. That's an extra large tall. We like to get the tall and XB sizes in Ralph Lauren. Uh, this is new at Tags. Uh, we're buying short sleeve t-shirts and shorts, that kind of stuff. Uh, trying to prepare for spring and summer. Uh, this is a another Polo Ralph Lauren. It's, I think it was new. Is it new with Tags or is it just new without Tags? I think it's new with... I should probably say what we're going to sell this for. We'll probably sell this for like 35 bucks just because it's new with Tags. Yeah, this is a uh, new without Tags. And um, it is a 4XB. The main reason we bought this is because it is so big. And it's a, a lightweight jacket that can be worn in like the spring and the fall time area. And this thing is suckered wide. So, uh, yeah, I think it should be pretty good. Uh, we actually paid up for these. We bought them at the uh, Marshall uh, Yellow Tag clearance sale they're having right now. Uh, we paid $26 for it. So we paid up quite a bit, but we should get around $60 for it. So uh, more than doubling our money. Um, and you can never really go wrong with the size XB Ralph Lauren. Yeah. Or 4XB in that case. Um, this is a zero restriction. Um, it's kind of like a suede. I think it's like a micro suede. Yeah, that says micro suede. Uh, windbreaker vest. Uh, zero restriction is a pretty decent golf brand. Uh, their windbreakers and vests and stuff are kind of the best uh, in this brand. But uh, yeah, this should probably sell for 30, 35 bucks. And it should move relatively quickly because the micro suede is very popular. Uh, next, we got a Brooks Brothers. Uh, the main thing with this, it's nothing special. Like there are no resale brothers. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, yeah, it's just short sleeve top, but uh, it is made out of linen, 100% linen. And uh, coming up on spring and summertime, linen's gonna. It's a very popular material. Uh, so we, uh, a decent brand like Brooks Brothers, pick up that linen. Pick up that linen. Pick All right, that linen, linen, linen. This is a J. Crew. Um, it's kind of like an outdoor vest. We've shown some of these before. Quilted, quilted. Yeah, it's a quilted vest. Um, it's not lined or anything. Just a lightweight vest for spring. Uh, but it is new at tags as well. And this colorway. What color would you call this? I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of like, like a, a brown, uh, like a gold. Like it a, looks like a nice silky caramel that it tastes delicious. Okay. Uh, caramel color, uh, kind of like a caramel brown color. Uh, it's a good colorway as well. And uh, this thing should probably go for 50, 60 bucks. Uh, we forgot to mention yesterday was our big uh, buying day. And I think we got another around, what, 400, 400 something item, 400 plus. Between all the stores we went to, I'd say 430, 450. Because um, we did go to Marshall's and other retail stores as well, not just thrift stores. So we got a lot of new stuff as well. This, this is just kind of like... To give you an idea of the thrift haul, obviously we're not going to go through 450 items. It'd take forever. So. Yeah. Uh, this is a Fanatics Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, it's Leafs? a hockey sweatshirt jersey kind of thing. It's a hoodie jersey. Um, Fanatics, normally not the greatest brand resale value-wise, but something more substantial like this. Uh, like I said, the, the hockey hoodie kind of situation do pretty well. So, and like I said, it's not going to be something crazy, but... It's a good bread and butter, especially for what we got it at. This is a Faherty. 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 Oh, Faherty. Oh. This is a Faherty um, quilted sweater cardigan kind of thing. I didn't mean, I meant to say knit. I said, you going nuts, boy. I got, I got the J. Crew vest on my mind. I miss you. I got the money on my mind. I'm sorry. No. Anyway, it's a knit. I don't know if you can see this. Hold on. It's kind of falling around. Okay, okay. Faraday knit cardigan. I should have probably buttoned it up so you could see it easier. But um, this is made out of cotton, it feels like. It's a closed cardigan because you can button it. Cotton cashmere blend. Uh, another brand that's really, really good when you find it. If I can find the tag Faraday, um, this probably go for 50 bucks, maybe 40, um, 50. It is a more of a winter item, but when we see something good, we're not going to just leave it because it's not the right season. Yeah, so. that's that's also true. Yeah, this is just a good find. Um, so this is the brand, where is it at? 
by I think it's Vaya, not a thousand percent sure. Um, but it is a button down shirt. But the thing about this brand that's pretty cool is <laughs> um... <laughs> have a lot of wool in them uh, which is good for a button-down shirt it's good for a, a good one it's a nice brisk spring day uh, it's really good so uh, this brand does well for us brisk huh? brisk this is a Robert Graham uh, button-down shirt uh, don't really pay up for Robert Graham anymore I think this is made out of it's cotton it's just cotton I thought it was something else too but it's it not. feels like silk it right? does but it's not 100% cotton anyway um Robert didn't believe me I, I, it's like I didn't buy it's it. It's a size 2XL, and it's a, obviously, uh, don't pay way up for Robert Graham, but it's still good to get if you can, good good to get, good to, good to, good to, uh, good to, good to, it's still good to get if you can get it for, uh, good to get, for the low. Uh, this is a, a Zara piece, as uh, resellers like to say. Uh, do you like this, when people say piece? This is Zara piece. It's yes. very nice. It's very good. Uh, this is Zara. It is typically not a brand we pick up. But this is a seersucker material. Uh, seersucker is one word. Uh, most people know about Spell seersucker it. nowadays. S e e r s u c k e r. That's uh, a sucker. Yeah. yeah. So seersucker is a popular material, like a feeling. So we uh, we like to pick that up. But Zara is not the greatest brand. But with the seersucker, with the seersucker, just buy it. Okay. It makes I'm it sorry. very good. I'm sorry. Okay. I can't tell. This is a North Face uh, vest. We're still bu buying vests for the uh, springtime. Not so much a summer item, but you can still get by if you can get them for a good price. Um, this is a uh, North Face insulated vest. Uh, pretty good piece. Uh, probably get 40 bucks for it. And Christian said this was really good. So I haven't really seen it yet. It's a J. Crew. Yep, J. Crew. It is a herringbone blazer. I would definitely put sport coat with this as well. Ludlow. Uh, herringbone is a type of, um, oh, what's it called? A pattern. There we go. I can't think of the word. What's pattern. that thing called that describes the, the pattern? <laughs> anyway, it's a Ludlow jacket. It's English wool, which somehow makes it more fancy. The big thing about it that's really good, it's Yorkshire Tweed by Moon. If you see Moon on anything, um, it's a type of, uh, I think it's a, either a type of fabric oh. or the company that makes it. You boring. I, I don't really know, but I, I know if you see Moon, it's good. Yeah. So Herringbone, J. Crew Herringbone, if it's 100% wool and tweed, a lot of times it's good anyway, but then I guess that whatever he said adds value to it. Next, we have a C.C. Filson flannel. Um, Tony found this. You would have thought that the girl that he asked the prom said yes. Didn't happen. Um, was really excited. He loves Filson. Uh, this is probably 35 bucks. It's just cotton. It's yeah, there's nothing crazy about it. Um, this is a Peter Millar. It is a fleece vest. And like Peter Millar, big logo on the back. It's the element warmth. So a lot of the golfers are going out in the March and, and, and April time, and it's kind of cold still, so they like warm stuff like this, and Peter Millar, great brand. The best brand. Oh, God, sorry. A great brand! <laughs> I just kidding. I walked in and said, wow, this is a great brand. Sorry. This is a Patagonia... I've been watching a lot of Shane Gillis. This is a uh, Patagonia Capilene. Um, Patagonia Capilene, you're not going to get a bunch of money out of, them, out of them, but they always do so uh, relatively quickly. Probably 30 bucks for this. It's in really good shape as well. That's also a big factor. Uh, this is a Disney Donald Duck, and Christian said it is a spirit jersey. It says spirit jersey on the thing. It says spirit jersey on the thing. Yep, spirit jersey. Um, I don't really know a lot about these. Christian's in-laws like spirit, like uh, Disney, so he knows more about it than I do. But apparently they sell well, so... 40 bucks, maybe. I, th it, I think it's new without tags, but I don't know if we'll sell it like that. Uh, this is a Penn State Nittany, Nittany Lions. Nittany? Is it Nitty or Nitty? Nittany. Nittany. N-I-T-T-A-N-Y. What he said. Uh, it's also camouflage and has an American flag on the sleeve, which obviously those are great keywords to add to this. Um, did pay a lot for this. Uh, anytime we see a sports team, especially a really popular team like Penn State, we normally pick it up. Uh, maybe sell it for 25 bucks. Maybe 30 because it's uh, camo. Uh, this is a Carhartt, and nothing crazy special about a Carhartt flannel like this, but what helps it out is that it is Pearl Snap. 
And Pearl Snap, anytime you can add it in a, a title, is great. People look for that. Um, it is, uh, you can use like Western, and for Carhartt, you can always put like workwear and stuff like that. So, Carhartt, Peter Merlar pullover, got a nice little symbol on the back. Um, oh, it's also got this four leaf clover, so it's very lucky. Um, I know all about luck. Anyway, um, pretty good. He's a ginge. Probably 35. 30? How much do you think? 30. 35 uh, stuff like that is a logo that it's a logo that might turn people off that's just for a country club so it's nothing that's really crazy that's not golf related so it's not gonna I don't think it what kind of, of golfer he got shot what kind of golfer doesn't want a four leaf clover on their shirt um so this is where's the Laura Palmer on this you said what on there the Laura it's a it's a blazer it's hang on this is a, yeah, you could do that. I'll do this one. This needs to I'll go to this. I'll go to oh, okay, I'm oh, sorry. Um, this is a Rune t-shirt. Now, the last video we talked, not last video, maybe two videos ago, we talked a lot about Rune because we bought a lot of it, found some more of it at the same thrift store. So Rune, this is like a workout kind of athletic style t-shirt. One might think this is an ordinary blazer. It's also caramel color, a caramel brown. But upon further inspection, oh, there it is. we see... The signature Laura Piana Cashmere. Um, is that brand Laura Piana? Oh. It's actually a Jack Victor brand. Um, brand is not very good, but Laura Piana Cashmere will sell this baby at least 60 bucks for this. Um, guys, if you want to move it quickly, if you want to hold on forever, maybe list it for 100. Uh, I like to move the blazers quickly, they take up a lot of space. Uh, so I'd probably list this for 65, hopefully sell it for mid 50s, $60 range. This is a Nike golf shirt. There's a polo but the special about this one is that it is a mock neck so it doesn't really have a collar and uh yeah so that we think that adds value and uh cause people it's kind of a newer you style. don't see him as often yeah, either. it's a newer style um this is a <laughs> they wish you were here <laughs> now i don't know about you but there's always somebody i wish was here anyway Bad joke. And this is a, this is a Travis Scott, awful. a Travis Scott Astro World um, long sleeve shirt. Uh, anything rapper related or musician related, uh, always look it up. I'd say this thing probably go for thirty five bucks. All right, we're gonna um, take a quick break from the thrift haul to show you guys how we take some photo. If you have some questions about it, so I'm gonna show you real quick. I'm gonna time it too, so keep myself accountable. All right, take the start the timer. Let's get to the photos. These are the Denim and Supply shorts. You'll see those soon in the video. They're size 36. Keep that in mind. Okay, now we go over here, take a picture of our cart, or our card. It's a mail, it's a mail thing. So we're gonna take a picture of the mail, mail. And then we're gonna take some photos. Think. Now I take the measurement photos, 36. That's where it's at, measurement. Do the end seam. Measurement, flip it over, pick, pick. Now I take the insides, take a picture of the brand, take a picture of the size, and then take a picture of the content. Cut. And that's it for the photos. Okay, fold them up. One fold, two fold, then we're gonna take a number. Yep. And then write what it is on it. Polo. Get it in the bag. Cargo shorts are a little hard to get the bag. Yep. Okay, let me come back to this. All right, go to, they're in excellent condition, so I'll take a picture of the excellent. Uh, they are, then all the rest of the stuff you skip. It's not blue or black, so you don't gotta worry about that. Um, it is less than two pound, less than one pound. So we'll take a picture of the less than one pound. And then for the cost, or how much we wanna sell it for, we will uh, use this calculator to do that. Uh, these, like I said, I'm probably going to list at 30 and then take any offers. So list at 30 
take a picture of the cost, uh, the price, sorry, and then take a picture of the SKU, yep, and then take a picture of stop. And then that took a total of two minutes and 24 seconds. That's everything done, ready to ship. The VAs have all the information they need. I went a little slow because I had to show you guys everything. Normally, it probably would take around the two minute mark. Um, but yeah, that's how you take photos and how we take photos and stuff. Um, uh, measurements, sometimes there are more measurements, sometimes there are less. Uh, but uh, always, these cards really make it good for us, make it quick and easy for the VAs to know the information. If we had to take a video, I would just take a quick video saying, hey, add cargo, add camo to that. But they know that. We've trained them to where they know if they see a cargo short, if they see a camo, they know that they have to put that in the title. So certain things you don't have to say, certain things you do. Didn't have to on that one, but it's a real simple process that we think uh, is optimized to our uh, structure and how we do things. So now back to the thrift haul. And yeah, but yeah, it should sell pretty quickly to a Travis Scott fan. Uh, Patagonia. No, nothing crazy special about Patagonia. Nice. Um, bread and butter piece. It is the Capilene base layer. Now all the Patagonia stuff like this has the name of what it is I just in, the, in the title. Well, not the title. In the, by the tag. So go ahead and usually put that in the title. This is a Peloton t-shirt. Pick up the pace. Pick up the pace. We got pick up the pace. We're going slow. This is going to be the rapid round. We're going to go through the rest of these really quickly. This is a Peloton t-shirt. Pretty good. Bread and butter fan. Pull the hand. Pull it off. <laughs> oh, a big fan. It's it's bread and butter. Butter. Polo Ralph Lauren, now the plug. Ugh. We're gonna go slow again. <laughs> There's new tags. Now this one's white, which we think it may add value because it's hard to find white stuff without stains. Uh, this is a, another Polo Golf. Um, that's, is that Polo Golf yeah. or just regular? No, this no. is a Polo Golf. Um, it's got this PGA 2016 PGA Championship logo on it. Uh, we think that adds a little bit of value. It's also got this nice logo on the back, uh, the big pony on the back. That's also going to add value. It should sell pretty quickly for 25 bucks. 30. Any, anytime a polo like that has something to do with a golf tournament that's a professional golf tournament, it normally does not hurt the value. Sometimes adds. Under Armour, new with tag polo. And that's a bright orange color, neon orange. That's good. Psycho Bunny t-shirt. We love Psycho Bunny. doesn't sell for a lot, but always sells. Nike golf polo again. This one's a hot pink, so it's uh, that's the reason we got this one more than anything. It's a cool color. Roan t-shirt, twenty-five. Another 20 Oakley. Bucks. This is an Oakley uh, golf polo. It is a nothing crazy about it, but it was really really cheap. Men's Lululemon t-shirt. Um, Lululemon men's stuff always does very well. Always sells. Um, this is probably thirty bucks. Uh, the cool thing about these, so sometimes people don't know the size because the size tag is ripped out. Um, they have them here in the hemline normally with the, the athletic wear t-shirt, so you can find them there. This is another Lululemon t-shirt. It's the uh, same same deal as that one. This is an untuck it, uh, but it has the benefit of being 100% linen. Now, this is going to be good for the summertime um, when it gets warmer outside. People are going to be looking for linen uh, garments, and long sleeve linen shirts are always good to have. This is a, another zero restriction jacket. It is a... It's kind of that same micro suede material. So, same thing as that one from before. This is an Adidas, an Adidas lightweight jacket. Adidas. An Adidas lightweight jacket. Um, it's got some nice striping on the arm. We think that adds value, um, probably 35, 40 bucks. We paid up a little for that, probably, I think $9, $8 or $9. So. This is a built shirt. Built is a like a luxury t-shirt kind of athletic wear brand. Uh, I think it has gone down a little bit in, in resale value because they're really not that expensive straight up, but they still have a pretty good sell through rate and we can, we got them cheap so we can still sell them. Yeah, I'll show you. Although this is not a green color, it is Galvin Green, the golf brand, and it's 100% merino wool. Uh, that's obviously going to add value. Not really a summer pickup per se, but uh, we saw value in it because the material it was made out of. Probably thirty bucks here, I would say. And Galvin Green's a good brand, so that that is for like the early golfers that are going to go out in March again when it's still a little brisk, as I said earlier. We didn't talk about how much we pay for this stuff. Uh, we've not done the cost average for this yet, but I'm assuming it's around what do you think, six bucks? If you add the stuff from Marshalls, it'll probably, probably separate. We're separate. Probably, okay, well then, yeah, probably around five, six dollars again. We'll give you that number in another video, but uh, 
it's around that price range. Uh, this is The Mountain. This is, That's the brand. It's a pretty decent t-shirt brand. They do these big graphics. Bring it home the bacon. This is bacon. Everybody loves bacon. So uh, a lot of times we have another one that's Eagle. Yeah. Sorry. That was disturbing. Uh, they have an eagle. They have we have ones with like that was a big bear or so. They we thought bacon looked pretty cool. Peter Millar vest. Um, we did a lot of Peter Millar today. Uh, probably sell that for twenty five thirty bucks because it has a graphic on the back. This is an Under Armour and T shirt. But if you look down here, at this bull. Anytime you see this bull or the this this rock, it's the Rock Project or Project Rock. Forget, always forget which Blood, one. Blood, sweat, respect. But uh, it's just a t-shirt, so it's not going to sell for a ton, but uh, they have really good uh, sell-through rates. Travis Matthew t-shirt, um, 20 bucks. These are This is a Bird Dogs. I mainly put this one in here because I wanted to show you guys the brand. T-shirts aren't the best by this brand, but you find pants. Pants by Bird Dogs. They have joggers, shorts, line shorts, really good. They were on Shark Tank and... Mark Cuban said they were going to do terrible, and then they didn't. So This is a Keith Hernandez t-shirt um, by Mitchell and Ness. Uh, brand's not the greatest in the world. No, Mitchell, Mitchell and Ness is a good brand. He doesn't know that. Not the greatest in the world. It's pretty good. So for like this vintage style. How much does this go for? It's pretty expensive. It was, I mean, this is a $45 t-shirt. 30 bucks. Maybe. I it, Probably less, but we got it for really cheap. It's a nice t-shirt. Uh, this is the brand Outer Known. So we found an Outer Known t-shirt that is a, uh, well, long sleeve t-shirt. Outer Known is really good brand, does well for us. This is a pair of North Face drawstring hiking shorts. Uh, we're going to hit the short season here. going to be buying a lot of shorts. Uh, North Face is a brand that we do pick up. Doesn't sell for a ton of money, but you should expect 25 bucks out of these. J. Crew shorts. Don't always buy J. Crew unless it's really, really cheap or new with tags. New with tags. Which this is new with tags. How much it going for? Uh, I mean, it's probably going to go for around the $20 range, low 20s. It's hard to check um, comps yeah. on shorts and stuff like that right now. Um, you got to use your brand knowledge from last year. Uh, try to play off of that. Don't pay up for anything because you never know if it's going to be the exact same. But um, just try to use the knowledge that you had from last year. And uh, You can actually go back and look at your sales from mm -hmm. the year before and yeah. see what sold. Because if you check the sale through, they're not going to look good. Because yeah, they only do like the past... Third, what, 30, 90 days or something like that? Yeah, so 90. You just got to go. These are a pair of Peter Millar. Um, are they crown crafted? Yeah. Uh, crown crafted shorts. Have a logo on the back here. Um, nice salmon color. That's also a great uh, keyword, salmon color. Um, really popular colorway. Any Anytime you see like crown sport, like the crown part of the Peter Millar is the best of them. Should be 30 bucks at least. Uh, this is a Patagonia pair of board shorts. Buying swim trunks and board shorts now too. Patagonia, obviously good. Uh, new with tags, Under Armour. Uh, I dropped it. New with tags, Under Armour men's golf shorts, uh, thirty bucks. Adidas. This is uh, it has their little logo all over these. That makes it pretty cool. So I picked them up. Golf shorts. These are Viore. Um, these are obviously very good. They're new with tags. We paid up quite a bit for these. Paid fifteen dollars, hoping to get forty for them. Uh, but the sell through rate is insane on Viore. Yeah. So especially new with tags. So even though new, they only cost sixty eight. Yeah, you can expect to get really close to that retail number. Yeah, I mean, we might be, I, we'll probably list them fifty five, yeah. fifty, and then if somebody sends a forty five dollar offer, we might take it. Yeah, we paid fifteen. Uh, yeah, so not that bad. Patagonia. This is these are just uh, I think these are women's. Not one hundred percent sure. Uh, I found them in the women's section. Uh, one thing about this brand, and I really want to point it out, and this is going to be controversial. I hate it when people call this Patagucci. It's, I just don't like it. I don't, I've never heard that. I've seen other people, and no disrespect to you, people call it that, but I will never say those words. He and literally mean, just, he just, and mean it. it. I'll never say it and mean it because it's Back not. Back to regular scheduled programming. Sorry, okay, so I just, ugh, I had to go on a rant. These are, what are these made out of? Silk and linen. These are Tommy Bahama silk and linen shorts. Um, Anything made out of silk and linen is going to be good, especially if it's Tommy Bahama. These are probably 25 bucks. We don't normally pick up a lot of Tommy Bahama shorts because we didn't have a lot of luck with them. No. If they're cotton, but the silk and the linen, we did have. It was good. Uh, these are a pair of, anytime you see these, it looks like approximately signed, but three lines instead of two. Uh, it means free fly. Free fly did really well with their shorts and their free pants fly. for us. The tops. Not so much, like the, the, the t-shirts and hoodies and stuff, they're lightweight, but the shorts and the pants, we always did really well with. Great sell-through rate. If you sell the tops for like 20 bucks, they'll sell it like the same day, but yeah. if you want to get like 30 bucks out of them, good luck with that. Uh, this is another pair of Under Armour men's golf shorts. They're kind of a newer style. Um, any of the newer style stuff we try to pick up, Nike, Under Armour, Puma, pretty much anything that's a newer style we'll pick up. 
But these probably 20, 25 bucks. This is an example of the, the crown sport I was talking about. I know <clears throat> you're not going to be able to see this, but hopefully editing Christian puts it in there. If you hold it up, maybe. Uh, Peter Millar crown sport golf shorts. These are Dunning golf <laughs> shorts. Um, we've had, actually had a little bit of luck with this brand, Dunning golf. I know a lot of people don't pick it up, but um, we've done pretty well with the shorts and even some of the pullovers and stuff like that. So they'd probably get 20 bucks out of this. Yep. Uh, actually... Might have to claim them. Oh, wait a minute. Well, maybe 12, maybe 10. Yeah, we'll see. Got a little damage on the back pocket. Uh, these are a pair of Foot Joys at FJ. You yeah. elbowed me. Sorry. The Foot Joy uh, polos, plain ones aren't doing as great, but we found the pants and the shorts still do well. Not crazy, low 20s, high teens, but we didn't pay a lot for it, so we'll uh, don't pay up. Yeah. J. Crew linen shorts. Um, J. Crew is a pretty solid men's brand. If you can get it in good materials or new with tags, uh, pick these up. Maybe get twenty bucks out of them. This is a Patagonia, kind of like a full zip hoodie situation. It uh, has the barb, like the tag where the tag, the the piece where the tag was. So new without tags, can't pass that up. Um, yeah, lightweight jackets as well. Going to be a good thing to be buying in the uh, spring summertime. People still wear jackets, especially at night when it gets cool. Uh, just something that you go pick up. Basically, we, stuff. We, less heavyweight, more lightweight. Stuff. We cooled off on like big coats. Yeah, that's the main thing. These are, I think, these are swim trunks. These are a pair of um, Vineyard Vines swim trunks. They also have like a seersucker pattern on them, which we think is going to add value to these. They have a cool like um, color block, tricolor thing going on. So um, color cool block. colorway. Yeah, seersucker, great size XXL. So it's a pretty uh, decent size as well, and they're in good condition. Maybe 25, 30 bucks. Yeah, and we'll uh, make sure we put lined in the title because people want to know if they're mesh lined swim trunks because right. swim trunks are different than board shorts because board shorts aren't lined, but swim trunks are. It's just the whole people want to know. We actually, I'll normally take a picture of the lining so people can see that Probably it has the lining. Up. These are Ralph Lauren Denim and Supply pants. Denim and Supply is cool because they don't make it anymore. It was a, it was a really small period of uh, time that they actually made this. And then they stop making it, and so people look for it a lot. It's not going to be really expensive uh, resale-wise, but, I mean, they don't make them, so people look for them and can't find them. Probably 25 bucks. Probably list them at 30 Take anywhere from 20 to 25 The camo, cargo, cool. This is a pair of Viore um, men's pants. Uh, this is a lightweight pant. Uh, these are pants that we would pick up even in the summertime, uh, just because Viore is a really good brand. has a great sell-through. And the pants are kind of techy and kind of stretchy, so people will still wear these in the summertime. Um, these, um, what size are they? Not sure on the size. Um, Yori does a lot like Lululemon where the, they have the ripped tag. Yeah. So the tag a lot of times get ripped out, and it's hard to tell the size. With pants and stuff, we'll take measurements and then compare it to Viore's website. Viore's website has the um, um, size chart on them so you can see what they are, and then we'll, we'll just put that in the title. Anyway, um... I think we paid up a little bit for these. Uh, how much do you think we get for them? 40 50 Probably, yeah, same rate. It, 40, it's something we paid up for, but we knew it was going to sell really fast. It's the sell-through that we yeah, love. Just with look, through, look through that sell-through rate and you'll see why. Um, all right, that's it. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the part of the video where we talk about how we take pictures. All right. So we hope you guys have a great day. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Yeah. Happy, happy belated Valentine's Day. Peace. Any other holidays? I said peace. Say St. Patrick's Day. Easter. My birthday. Flag Day. My daughter's birthday. Bye. We should get disappeared. Ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> <laughs>